Welcome to day 10. So, review yesterday's notes. Uh, I should have mentioned a couple of days ago, really, but since subnetting, since the lesson you learned subnetting in IP version 4, you should really be practicing subnetting every day. You need to be you need to be able to answer most subnetting questions in around 15 to 30 seconds in the exam. The reason is, uh, well, firstly, you need the speed in order to recover time in the exam, but all, but also there'll be normally so many subnetting type questions that if you can't answer them quickly, then you're just not going to have enough time for the configuration part of the exam. So it's important you can not only subnet accurately, but subnet quickly. So we're looking at routing concepts. Before we dig into specific routing protocols, you need to understand routing in a fair amount of detail. So this is something else really that slid down from the CCMP syllabus into the CCNA, where you need a good understanding of the routing concepts, including uh, look at packet forwarding, class one and classless protocols and the difference, the routing table, how it works, how route, how routes are installed into the table, and why, why the router cho chooses certain routes over others, passive interfaces, which we're going to be touching on for various protocols as well, troubleshooting routing concepts, and also, though there isn't a specific config configuration task, I, I've certainly included in my book, hands-on lab so you can just kind of put what you've learned into context so if you hop over to the study guide I'll just go through basic routing routing protocol classes as I've mentioned I've put in Ceph as well Cisco Express forwarding because that's in the syllabus and from the uh, syllabus also link state versus distance vector next top routing table and passive interfaces so basic routing, how the router decides what to do with the packet when it's received on an interface. Does it forward it? Does it drop it? Summarizing addresses, uh, routing algorithms as well. And a, a, a very brief look on the Cisco design model. This is just touching on that briefly. Administrative distances. Routing metrics, so how a, route, a router decides or a router protocol decides what to do with the traffic using costs, delay, load, bandwidth. Building the routing table, passive interfaces, which I've mentioned, the shortest pass, path algorithm versus the distance vector and link state protocols. I'm going to um, I discuss Ceph. I think I do it in a couple of parts of my book actually, but I've actually covered Cisco Express forwarding in this part of the book because it seemed to be the best place to slot it in. Question and answers, and then a straightforward lab. So lots to be getting on with today, and I'll see you tomorrow.